All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to tonight's broadcast of Anara StarCraft. It is Thursday, September 23rd, I believe, 2010, and I have had a slight amount of something fun to consume, which may possibly make me a little bit weird, and I'm probably going to be drinking just a little bit throughout the thing as well to maintain it, but that's okay. Because if I get too loopy, then my girlfriend will probably just come and punch me in the stomach and laugh at me. So, with that being said, you can see that I have got here my multiplayer folder, which has Vegetable Market, September's Crop, Secret Potato, LL Kingslayer, and August Hoo-Hahs. So, we're going to locate the replays that we're going to watch tonight by going to Vegetable Market. And we want fresh vegetables, so we're going to do that. All right, now let's go to edible because we don't want to eat non-edible hoo-ha, and we want it to be edible by humans. So edible by humans, let's go with. I think I put them in dinner. No, wrong. Where did I? I can't even find these things. This was not a good idea. My girlfriend just threw something at me. Ow! All right. Ow! Dang on it. Does not taste good with raw beef, and neither does whatever you just threw at me. Okay, so my girlfriend actually helped me pick some of the game names. So you can see we have cucumber, celery, turnip, carrot, tomato, artichoke, and art art artichoke, artichoke, and lettuce. Okay, so I'm gonna try to regain my composure. All right, so I'm gonna pick three of these randomly. Well, actually, two of them random, and one of them I'm gonna try to play because it's really funny. And if it doesn't work out, then my girlfriend's nodding no. Then I'm just gonna pick a third one. So, anyways, um, come over here. Come over here. Pick a game. I don't care which one. This is how you know you're getting a random one, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we're going to watch this one. Artichoke. Artichoke. Okay, so. This is actually a very good first pick, because this features none other than Liquid Diallo, down here as Zerg and Heosad, who is also as Zerg, who is actually a pretty good friend of mine. Hi, Heo! I hope you don't hate me for casting this while I'm slightly intoxicated. Okay, so, the only thing about this replay, though, is that it is a 1.03 replay. Wah, wah, wah. So it might lag a little bit. I'm going to try it and see what happens. And if it lags really badly, forget it. Going to pick a different one. So, load the artichoke. This replay can only be viewed by a previous version of StarCraft 2. Do you wish to log out of Battle.net? Yes, I do. I don't think it actually... It, it, there we go. All right. For whatever reason, it cut out when it switched versions. But... We're in complete control of this game. So, so far, we are so good as we are going. And the game has started with Evo Mua, M Maua spawning down here as the Red Zerg. And Blue Protoss, we have Marine Toss, which is not really Protoss. Well, yeah, he is, because he's not... Okay, whatever. Uh, Heoset is spawning as the Teal Zerg up in the 12 o'clock position, and Liquid TLO is spawning as the Purple Zerg, the, the Perg, whatever, at the uh, 2 o'clock position. And, frankly, I am looking forward to this game, because any game with TLO has got to be fantastic. Any game that my girlfriend picks is going to be fantastic. So, when you combine TLO with my girlfriend, you actually get some sort of giant robot creature, which is very likely going to take over the world at any point in time. And so, you can already see that Marine Toss is scout allowing up here with his hyper awesome probe, with his cool anime haircut, zipping around, doing the thing that Marine Toss probes do. And what are you doing, Heyo? Oh yeah, you're checking. You're checking for proxies. Yeah, it's a good thing you're playing and I'm talking, because this would not go well. Second hatchery right off the bat. Oh, that is glorious. I love this game already. And we have another hatchery over here from TLO. Okay, so so far, let's document this. We are 11 of 18 supply for TLO, and a second hatchery is going down. 
maybe this is like a TLO creep tumor. I mean, he's so awesome that, you know, any normal creep tumor you'd have to place on creep, but a TLO creep tumor? Nope. It goes wherever he wants it to, and it grows like five times as big. With a little disco drone hanging out down there, swimming around. Why do they jump around so fast? I don't know. It's like there's swimmy, 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 swimmy. Okay, yeah, I don't know what's going on. But anyways. <sighs> okay. Let's look at let's look at what uh, Evo's doing. He's he's a pretty cool guy. We'll pay attention to him for a bit. He has got a spawning pool already and lots of little nice eggs. Have you noticed in 1.1 how all they What are you doing, drones? You d it does not take 3 of you to go down and what what are you doing? You don't I don't I don't know what's going on here. I am a bit confused as it does not take 3 drones to scout. One, are we actually sending three drones to scout one person? Maybe he's going to build some creep colonies. Or not creep. <laughs> Welcome to StarCraft 2. We don't have creep colonies. He's going to build some sunken crawlers. I think that's what he's doing, is he is sending some zerglings up as well to reinforce, however, that is going to be strategically denied. Let's see, I just made it professional sounding. It's going to be strategically denied by Heosets, um... Zergling things. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. There's like, there's like 20 of them. Well, no, like 12, but you know, whatever. There's a two in there. And he is getting a lair now, and he does have one geyser getting some gas. And Liquid TLO is running away very quickly with his own Zerglings, as he is probably going to hang out at the top of his ramp, where there are four more Zerglings ready to defend. Is, what is this? Oh my god, there's a cannon push in TLO's base! I should probably watch the minimap more often. I know I have, like, thousands of people telling me to watch the minimap more often. This is why I should do it. Because right now, Marine Toss is cannon-pushing Liquid TLO. That takes balls. That takes giant, shiny Protoss balls. As that cannon push was unfortunately tossed aside, bullied, gone away for good, whatever, it's done. But that was still pretty impressive. He managed... I bet you he is going to school tomorrow or whatever. He's going to tell all his friends, Hey, I built a cannon and pylon and liquid teal is base. <laughs> and then the other kids are like, Shut up, nerd. And uh, then they kick him off the basketball team. Because, uh, yeah, that never happened to me. Okay, shut up. I don't want you to tell you my life story. Okay, so anyways, we do have two hatchery play by liquid teal. <laughs> and he is morphing a lair. I don't know why that is the most hilarious lair I have ever seen in my life. But Heosat is going to keep about 12 Zerglings or so. 12 Zerglings at his ramp to his natural expansion, as well as an infestation pit up in his base. Up in, up in here. <laughs> his base, whatever. Alright, oh, I'm so white. So, whoa, Zergling Train coming out from Evo's base at the 6 o'clock position, getting ready to head up, presumably to Heosat, as he is not really so equipped to handle this. Oh, there go the Zerglings, they don't even care. Oh, yes, they do care, never mind. They're going to kill those other ones first. And no response from TLO as he is getting his own economy going and whatnot, getting his own infestation pit with his one awesome, bleeding, slightly disgruntled spine crawler at the top of his ramp. So, looking away from two seconds and looking back, all of Heosat's drones have been defeated, except for this one lone drone who's trying to get out very quickly. And it looks like he was able to get out, so these Zerglings are going to finish off Heosat's base. Poor Heosat. He tried so hard. I mean, look at him. He's on He's on TLO's team. He just wanted to have a good time. And run, Infester! Run! Run! No! No, don't die! Oh, you got surrounded and... Oh, look at a little crab. Okay, so I think this is pretty much over for Heosat as another infester comes out. Oh god, run! Maybe he's going to he spawned out a couple little infested swarm eggs, which are going to pop into some infested terrans, which aren't going to actually be able to do anything whatsoever. But at least that infester was able to do something. You know, you got to give him credit for that. He took the initiative, unlike his predecessor, who just tried to run and died like a little chicken. And check these out, man. 
Two infested Terrans are all it takes to defend a Zerg base. How cool is that? And nope, just kidding. They just died explosive bloody deaths. I think that's going to be all she wrote for Heosat. Anyways, let's take a look down here in Protoss, who we've been neglecting this entire game. He has a shuttle who is pulling some pretty sweet turns there up in the air. Check that out, man. He just did like a 180. Yeah, yeah, this guy is this guy is pretty sweet. I don't even think they actually have pilots. I think they're just driven by this little circle ball thing here. So, I do believe that Marine Toss is going to be going in for the very advanced, very technical probe drop up into Heosat's base, as he does only have one probe in this warp prism currently. So, no, nope, maybe he's rethinking his plan. Maybe he's not confident in his ability to kill a base with a probe. Nope, he's just going to build an expansion. Eh, Whatever, I'll settle for I'll settle for the second best. Whoa, more attacks coming in. Oh, that that zergling bunch just did not live very long. Yeah, whatever. So I think things are actually calming down a little bit. So maybe I should stop yelling so much. So we do have three quiet larvae harvesting creep here. Whatever, and my girlfriend just starts petting me, and oh god, I don't know. Okay, I need to get back into action here, as this expansion is taking taking full force, full full effect as this hatchery is coming up as well. And so, oh! Oh, this just in, breaking news, Heosat rebuilt their base and is no longer being revealed. Oh, okay. This game is just getting so much more intense as these drones, or these larvae, are running out of creep very, very quickly. Oh, that's just wrong. I didn't want to see that. Oh, well. As TLO decides enough is enough, I've had it with this foul play by Marine Toss and whoever his opponent teammate is. Evo! Yeah, Evo, that guy. All right. So, this extractor assimilator. Hey, you know Protoss have assimilators? That's so cool. I love how Zerglings, when they were like... When they're, uh, I've got a complete surround on something when they're attacking it. Uh, if there's extra zerglings, they kind of do a little swimming around thing like a shark. That's so cool. Think about how awesome Zerg would be if they had sharks in this game. Would that not be amazing? I know, that's what I said. Okay. So, um, we're just going to actually call TLO zerglings for this game. We're going to call them sharks. Little little sharks with legs. Oh, that, that sounds too corny. I'm... I'm slightly intoxicated. I don't even think that's funny. Whatever. So, okay, um, my girlfriend's telling me they're birds. Uh, I don't really see the... Uh, okay, I'm getting the facepalm now. So anyways, Infestor Train! Here they come in, lots of Infestors, as they're going to poop out Infested Terrans everywhere in fantastic fungal growth. And, whoa, there's some lag. On the Mutalisks... And a couple infested Terrans out, and they're going to have their way with the Mutalists, who I just said that. But that's okay, because they're going to run their little flying chickens. Whatever. They're cool. They're going to live to see another day. They don't care about running. So anyways, yeah, this, so this is TLO. He's a pretty cool guy, man. He's busted all these infested Terrans, or infestors. Here are the infested Terrans. There's one, two, three. Three infested Terrans. Ah, ha. Ha. Okay, so... And this one's coming up, I'm like, Hey, I want to be cool, too! And, uh, yeah, I'm sorry, dude, you're just not as cool. You weren't there for the initial push. And you can see that, it, uh, we do have more creep being splooge everywhere all over the map here. This is the one thing. If you watched TLO in the beta, he was very good at expanding his creep. I was very impressed by that. So, he is continuing to do that, as this game is going to slow down just a tiny bit. He is going to pull back his infestors to come chill out as his base is. I think, actually, there was an attack that I, 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 I may have missed. Oh, yep, sure enough, there's some mutas getting pwned in the rear side by a queen. More fungal growth and more explosive action. There they go.